Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you a few methods on installing applications in Ubuntu, starting with the basics of the Ubuntu Software Center, working all the way up to compiling source code. Put some timings in the description below, so feel free to jump around to a different section of the video. Enjoy! So starting with the simplest method of installing through the Software Center, you can just type in a vague description of what you're after, and it'll find it. Well, bring up all the selections of packages there, which I'm looking for solitaire. So yeah, quite a selection. So you just select one of them. You look at the more information about it. You think, yep, do I want that? Yeah, why not? Install it, pop in your admin password, and that's it. Anyway, the other choices that you've got for on the simple install, anyway, is the Synaptic Package Manager. Again, you, you could type in the vague description. You're not going to get quite such a selection this time. This is more for when you know the package name. So maybe I want a spider. A spider solitaire right there. You can just click that, mark for installation, apply. So there's a bit more information there than the Ubuntu Software Center gives you. So it's been installed, unchanged. You can add repositories through Synaptic Package Manager. Just go settings, repositories, other software, and add the PPA line. I've done a whole video on adding repositories, so I don't want to go too far into that right now. I'll just select one of these from the Launchpad page. So yeah, just take that line there, PPA Ubuntu, what's that, language pack, forward slash PPA, add that, and then install the program that you're after from that repository. So those are the nice simple methods of installing programs in Ubuntu, but life isn't always that simple. Because sometimes we get some other options. So for instance, we can have .deb files, so that's Debian Package Manager. So I've downloaded Google Earth here. So I've got the 64-bit version, which is applicable for my system. If you've got the 32-bit version, download that one instead. So I'll double-click on that. Opens up the Software Center. Click Install. The preferred method is adding via repository. So you can get the automatic updates that way. Not every program has a repository. So yeah, sometimes you get this method where in the case of like Google Earth that someone's already gone and packaged it up in Debian format, which Ubuntu can work with quite nicely, being that it's based on Debian. Right, okay, that's finished installing. I find it's all nicely set up for me there. Go into internet and then Google Earth. So that's very generous of Google to provide the 32 and 64-bit versions. But now I've found one that they haven't provided a 64-bit version. I've got a 64-bit system. Damn, that's not going to work, is it? So we've got wrong architecture, i386. So in other words, 32-bit. Right, to get around that, we need to use a terminal this time. I've installed the Nautilus Opening Terminal Edition on my system. So I can just right-click on the folder, go open in terminal. So if you're using KDE, Dolphin File Manager will automatically have that feature built in. Open up Terminal. Then we want to navigate to the Downloads folder. Let's type in CD, tilde, forward slash. And start typing down, then press Tab, and it automatically completes it for you. Games. Then I want sudo dp kg dash i dash dash force dash force architecture and then start typing gens and then press tab there are it forces the install through now we'll do a pre-compiled application so it's a game i've downloaded nikki and the robots so that has the application inside the zip file look at the readme file to just give you a bit more information start the game by executing nikki.exe that appears to be written for Windows. We don't have .exe files in Linux. What I want to do with that is copy that into the USR slash local folder. You need administrative rights for that. So we'll open the run applications, so that's Alt F2. Type in GKSU Nautilus. You can also do that via the terminal. But I'm just going to show the GUI method. We don't all like using the terminal, do we? Sometimes I like the simple graphical method, even if it is a bit longer. Anyway, some downloads, games, and I'm looking for Nikki. Just press the middle mouse button, opens up a new tab. 
want to go to user local games let's drag and drop it in there that's quite easy and I've created a launcher for it in the menu so let's go right click edit menus in games now let's look at properties of this So what I've simply done is just done the browse to that folder, nikki then forward slash nikki dot sh. Sh being an application to run in that example. I'll have a look at that game at some point. It's a bit in development at the moment. I've come across to a virtual machine for the last couple of examples. So for this one, I'm going to run a dot bin file. So that's a, that's a pre-compiled installer. Except double click on it, this file is of an unknown type. We need to make it executable. To do that, right click on the file, select properties, go permissions, and then tick that, allow executing file as a program. And then we need to open up a terminal window, uh, navigate to download, slash, no one, uh, dot slash, uh, jre. What is it done here now? Um, I think what I should have done there was copied that over to the user folder. You kind of get the gist of what's going on though. So now we'll take a look at installing Cheese. So this is an example of compiling a program. How do I know I have to compile it? Well, first giveaway, got an install program here that describes the commands that you need. Dot configure, make, and make install. But if that wasn't there, I could look at the readme file. A list of programs that it requires there. <laughs> a webcam and a brain. <laughs> they are very good. Um, then we got, well, we could look in, let's pick a folder here, lib cheese. And that's full of .c and .h files, which are all C programming language. So that's all source code. We want to compile that, so we need to extract the file. And let's drag and drop it out of there. Go to that directory, and a dot slash configure. The dot slash configure will tell me if I need to install any more programs, uh, which it has. No package, uh, all of this lot have been found. So to get around that, I'm going to synaptic. And you start working through them. GTK plus minus 2.0. GTK examples. Oh dear. This is why I don't like compiling programs. It's really difficult to find what you need to install. So I've got down to the last dependency now. Lib Canberra GTK. You need to take the dev files when you're trying to compile. So apply that. So let's go for it now and see what happens. Yep, so it's done. Let's close that. And I think it's sudo make. Can't remember if you need sudo there or not. We'll, we'll go for it anyway. And finally, sudo make install. <laughs> oh, you'd think it would work now, but well, it hasn't. Um, just as a quick check, found I was missing that last library there. Just installed it through pack Synaptic Package Manager, and it's working now. There's cheese compiled from source code. That was quite a headache to get that done. And you certainly get an appreciation of just how easy it is to install programs through the Software Center or Synaptic Package Manager. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.